hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to talk about something that will make your games and emulators run a lot smoother on snapdragon devices i'm talking about the latest adreno gpu drivers so um these are custom drivers that boost performance and fix a lot of issues especially when running emulators like yuzu sudachi rujin's android ppsspp and even more so um today's video i'm going to teach you guys on how to go buy these drivers i mean how to download and get these drivers and set up on your android phone so that you can boost performance on your emulators without much ado let's get started Now before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more emulators and gaming tips. So um, for those of you who are here, I will explain what this Adreno GPU driver is. So basically, they are updated GPU drivers from the Snapdragon devices that unlock better compatibility and speed. A lot of games and emulators depends heavily on your GPU, so having these updated drivers make a huge difference. And today I'm going to teach you guys on how to get these drivers and install them on your mobile devices so that your performance will significantly boost and your games will run much smoother. So let's head over to the official website and get these drivers and guide you through the installation process on your Android device. Let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the installation or how to download and install the Qualcomm drivers. So um, to install the Qualcomm drivers, there's going to be a link under this video description. So what you have to do is just open the link. Just open the link and then go or open the link like this or there, just visit the link. It should take you to a GitHub page like this. Now here it says Arduino GPU drivers for Android emulators. When you scroll down, so this is this is the reporting issues of these drivers and stuff and the usage you have it's it's compatible with skyline which has been seized and also a strato emulator which is based on a skyline emulator better still it is also compatible with vita 3k which is this one dolphin emulator ppsspp willow win later bionic and also adding emulator which is based on user emulator or switch emulator so here here is the compatibility of the drivers so when you use drivers you can use the drivers for all these emulators over here so when you scroll down you should see something like revision 6 so this is the latest release of the drivers and that doesn't mean that you are going to see the same version when you watch this video in the near future obviously it's going to change so to download the drivers just press on this thing over here just press on this and then it should take you to um, this session here so here you have tenip and tenip version blah 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 the r6 so the r6 means the latest version so in the near future the arrows blah 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 is going to change you are not going to see exact same version over here so um download these drivers just download one of these drivers and before that i already have the drivers downloaded so there won't be any need for me to download the driver again so now let's look at how to install these drivers now this is the driver we downloaded the 10 version blah 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 the r6 so um, to use this driver we are going to test it on an emulator so i'm going to test it first on the switch emulator and this time around i'm going to use the editing emulator which is this one so i'm going to use the editing emulator now to install the driver just press press this setting icon over here and then come to the drivers section here like this so here i have no drivers installed and i only have my system or my gpu drivers over here so to install it just press on this install thing over here this thing just press press on this thing here and then locate the folder that contains your downloaded drivers 
So here I have my driver over here. I have the Arduino Tenet that we downloaded. I have it over here. So I'm going to install the drivers. To do that, just press press on this thing. And then here you can see that it has the driver has installed successfully. Now when you see something like this, it means the drivers or the driver has been activated and when you press on this thing it means you've deactivated the driver so here i'll activate the driver and then meaning um all my games are going to run on the driver so this is how you you install the custom drivers on any user based emulator so i'm going to teach you on how to install the same drivers on different emulator so this time around, I'm going to use the Azar Plus emulator, which is based on 3DS emulator. So inside the 3DS emulator, so um, with the Azar Plus, this is it. And to install the drivers, just come here, press here like this, and then, and then come to the driver session, which is this one. And then just press on it here it says system gpu driver just press on install just like how we did with the editing emulator just press on it and then you select the folder that contains the drivers so this is the driver and it means um it has been the um, activated and the games are going to run on these drivers So this is how we download and install custom drivers for emulators on our Android devices. Now before we move to the changelog session of this driver, there is one thing that you have to know. Please note that these drivers don't work on all Snapdragon devices. If you try installing them and it doesn't work for you, it simply means your GPU isn't supported yet. In that case, you have to wait for a future update when your GPU gets added. So don't panic if this doesn't work right away for you. Now let's look at the change logs. So in this driver, they fix some bugs that causes crashes in certain emulators, and also they've improved performance in games that uses Vulkan and OpenGL, and also better stability overall. So less stuttering and smoother frame rate. My name is Ruzaki. I'm the owner of this channel. So thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time.